I don't think trends exist anymore. Hey guys, what's good? My name is Shino, AKA, no more AKAs. My name is Shino, guys, what's good? How are you doing? If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me on the journey. If you're old, for some reason, thank you for coming back. Appreciate you, love you. We two for two, gang, come on. Woo! <laughs> really wanna just say thank you, first things first. Um, on the reception, I really feel like just welcome and I feel really, really amazing just to be back. So thank you for the reception. Thank you for the kind words under the video. Thank you for you guys' support. It means the entire world to me and you know, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't be here if not for you guys. So thank you and I appreciate all of you for supporting me. Right, so today's video is gonna be about um, fashion, trends. So the three things that are on my mind when it comes to this discussion are very simple. One, I don't think trends exist anymore. And when I say trends don't exist anymore, trends still obviously exist, like I'm not silly. But when I say trends don't exist, I mean trends don't exist in grand scale anymore. So you remember how like at a point in time or at different points in time, what fit of jeans we used to wear like was very important. So go into like 2000s, we're talking like extremely baggy. Go into 90s, I, I think we're still like extremely baggy, but a bit more straight. 80s, flares, to 2010s, we're talking skinny jeans, right? So it's just been tighter, tighter, tighter fitting jeans. Right now, I think all those, all of those are valid. I think everything is valid. I feel like right now, I don't see anybody have trends without them being in silos. So I could be wrong and like, I actually kind of want you guys to kind of teach me on this because like, I'm not claiming to know everything, but like, this is just kind of what I think. Um, When was the last time a trend was really like big or like everyone did it? Like it was just a grand scale trend. I would say like 2010s to me. So I would say like when everyone was doing like utilitarian stuff. So like, um, Alix with uh, Matthew Williams, uh, Samuel Ross, a cold wall. Like, I'm not sure if that was 2016, but like, I know it was the late 2010s. Everything just feels like a blur now, but yeah, late 2010s. And I really think like at that time, it was really like, yeah, this was a trend. You feel me? And I, I, I felt another type of like um, apocalyptic fashion type of um, style with like um, Yeezy brand. Those were really trendy at the time. Back in 2015, a lot of like the punk, um, the punk and just like crazy stuff that Demna and Balenciaga are doing. I wanna say like the last time was like a severe trend was like in the 2010s. And I, that's kind of how I look at fashion right now. Like I really think that like everything is happening at once. So it's like the movie, like everything, everywhere, all at once. Like I, I want to say like, that's where fashion is right now. So I feel like nothing, nothing is really out of style. Like we're taking references back to like the eighties. So we have eighties fashion, we have nineties fashion, we have two thousands fashions, and we have a little bit of 2010s. Everything is existing together. And I feel like that's like the fashion scape right now. So like think Y2K fashion, but it's not, Y2K, like Y2K fashion 2022 is not Y2K, but it has Y2K influences. I, I would really say like personally, like when next I kind of show like just like some f styling or fitting videos, like you guys are going to see it. Like these days, like I really enjoy like dressing like a bit more Western, a bit more um, cowboy inspired, a, a bit more sli slim fitting. And I, and I would say like, that's not a trend right now, but like that's me one day, the next day, like, I'm still wearing the clothes that I would show, I would show on my channel when I was very, 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 very much active for my first thousand. Uh, I'm still wearing that uh, whole like utilitarian, like army, army cargos, cargo pants, workwear. I'm still very much in that world as well. So that could be me on back to back days. Like I, I want to say like with like fashion week, like I went one day I was giving very, Western. The next day, I was giving very like gothic. Ne um, the next day, it was very like streetwear. After that, workwear. And I just feel like those are like 
the moods of fashion. Like, think of your favorite influencers. Think of your favorite, like, fashion YouTubers. Like, depending on the time of year it is, depending on whatever it is, they dress however they want to dress. And, like, they could be so different. And I feel like that just goes to show you the landscape of 2022 fashion. If you fall victim to trends, genuinely, only ever go for something because you like it. Because, example, I have a pair of um, jowned... <laughs> John Reeboks that I unboxed on the channel, funny enough, two years ago, like, I wear those shoes to work now, and like, that was like $300 that I wanted, not wasted, because I, I really still love those shoes, I really love those shoes, so, at the end of the day, it's not $300 wasted, but if I was doing it because it was trendy and it was cool at the time, that's $300 wasted, you know what I'm saying? So... All of this is just a long-winded way for me to say trends don't exist wear what you want like what you want and don't get anything because it's cool um this wasn't really meant to be a long video so i'm guessing that that's kind of where we are and um yeah man so it's good to be back two for two i'm guessing maybe i'm probably going to be giving you guys one longer video one shorter video maybe that's how it's going to be done maybe it's going to be a bit more long and short maybe i'm gonna have more like just ease up on the content until i have like really big things to show you so we could be averaging like double like double figures in minutes i don't know but regardless thank you guys for rocking with me two for two new video next week thursday follow the instagram follow the twitter it's love shin on instagram l zero v e s i n a and on Twitter, it is one, the number one, L-O-V-E-S-I-N-A. The other app was taken. Don't question me. TikTok, Love Chanel, L0. And every other thing should be Love Chanel with the zero as well. So that's me. Love, guys.